Terry and Kai, today's uh, at the Indiana State Fair is the Ability Awareness Day. That's right. And we have from uh, Easter Seals Crossroads, the President, Chief Executive Officer, the Head Poopa of Poopas, David Rudd. David, thanks for coming. Well, thank you for having me. You know, everybody, when you come out here today, uh, you are all set up, all the great organizations and nonprofits, you are set up right around that main gate off of 38th Street. You're right in that area, is that right? That's correct, yeah. We have about 20 of our, our best partners here. Um, so, at Easter Seals Crossroads, so since 1938, right, we've been the go-to organization for people with disabilities and their families. And we do that by not being all things to all people, but by bringing partners in that to help us do that. So we have, like I said, 20 of our best partners here. Next year, we're hoping to go for 30. You know, if one of us stubs our toe, we think we're hands are dead. If one of us uh, takes a shot to the eye, I'm going to walk around with one eye. But every day, people with fundamental issues have to deal with disabilities that none of us can even imagine. And you guys have always been there for that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And actually, 25% of us will experience significant disability at some point in our lives. Um, but I think the biggest thing to realize is that people with disabilities contribute to our communities day in oh, and day out. And, and what we do is we're there to support them so that they can live their best lives and be their best selves. And a lot of times it's, it's uh, help them follow their dreams and then just get out of their way. I have learned so much in working at WIBC about great nonprofit work and about how you all really make the world go around. If somebody needs something, I've called to help ask for help for veterans that may call me from time to time, and I say they may need. I may call and say I don't know what, but I know you're going to help me. They need a bicycle. They need uh, some food for their dog, and I'll call you all. And, and I'm funneled into the veterans' arm, uh, arm of Crossroads, and and I'll take and they're taken care of. That's what makes the world go around because you can make it happen in a minute. Yeah, no, absolutely, and, 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 and thank you for bringing up our veteran services. Yeah. We're very proud to have served veterans, veterans for many years here in central Indiana, and it's so important, right, because yeah. veterans have served us. That's right. Um, how can we assist them? I, I always listen to veterans when we, we talk to them, and they always say, hey, it's not that we're looking for a handout, we're looking for a hand up, um, and uh, that's that's been something we've been so proud to do here. In David Bryant joins us from the Easter Seals Crossroads. I remember Easter Seals as dimes at a certain time of year. Do I remember that, where we all would give our dimes as kids? Is that how I remember Easter Seals? You may be confusing us with another organization, oh, okay. but I will say I'm this. Sorry. No, I will say this. Um, so Easter Seals has existed since 1916, and it was founded in Northern Ohio. That was right before my high school days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm that, just saying, it wasn't I. But we were best known for the Easter Seals fundraising that we did, and it started in the 1950s is when the organization shifted there its name to Easter Seals. It, it's not a religious affiliation. It's merely based on the, on the fundraiser, but it's a name that is so well known. Um, when we, we did our last brand study as the National, because we're, we're network organizations that operate independently. Um, but when we did that brand study, 99% of the people recognized that brand and felt good about it. How do you get your funding now? How are you funded? We, we are funded through a, a multiple of uh, a variety of channels. So we have a lot of government funding for funding what we do. Sometimes it's Medicaid, sometimes it's through the Department of Labor grants such as that. We also have some of our own earned income ventures. Uh, we have two manufacturing facilities that not only employ people with disabilities, but they generate a net income that supports our mission. Wow. But finally, 25% of our funding comes from the goodness of the people of Central Indiana. Um, and that's through fundraising, through individuals, corporations, foundations, etc. But it's always so important that individuals are supporting us, not just financially, but they're getting on board with our mission so that we can work our way towards 100% equity, inclusion, and access for people with disabilities. Disability Awareness Day out of the here uh, today. So, listeners come out and they see you all, and uh, what services can they that can be, what is to get about for you all Yeah, so we're not only featuring uh, people with disabilities that are contributing to our society here in Central Indiana and throughout the state of Indiana, but today we're featuring our gaming initiative. And that, that's something, you know, we, uh, for my generation at least, we don't think of gaming as, as something huge, but nowadays gaming is bigger than music and movies combined. Oh my, new revenue. It's also a great equalizer for um, because people with disabilities who've been traditionally shunned from the larger community 
on, to online gaming, they make, generate relationships, they generate accomplishments, and so much of what is about design for people with disabilities to access gaming turns into access for everybody, disability or not. That's right, creativity the doesn't choose bodies. Exactly it does right. not at all. That's interesting. Fantastic. Ability awareness day today. Yep, and if you'd like to get in touch with Crossroads, go to Easter Seals, crossroads.org. David, thank you.